Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and I am back for another sugar cookie tutorial. And I've been on a little bit of a mermaid kick because I am preparing for a child's birthday. I am just using a very classic sugar cookie recipe. I will put that right in the right hand corner where you can check out my original tutorial for it. Just take away that citrus and Earl Grey and you will have classic sugar cookies. So what we're doing here is we're starting with this sand dollar. Now I did have a sand dollar cookie cutter, but you could easily just use a round cookie cutter and then cut out little bits. I am pretty much going to be using the same consistency throughout all of the cookies in this tutorial. This consistency of icing is my favorite to work with if you don't wanna have a clear definitive outline and filling. I am not kidding when I say it took me years to be able to come up with this puffy icing and get the texture just right. For a long time, I spent a lot of time just outlining and then filling with kind of a really loose icing in the center for my flooding icing. But then I always ended up with flat icing and this gives you that puffy texture. It really is all about trial and error though. You need to use one cup of icing sugar and one tablespoon of meringue powder, and then you're just gonna kind of add as much water as you see fit. It's also really important that you do whip this, and you're probably not gonna be able to get the same nice consistency if you whip it by hand. So for our cookie sticks today, which are becoming super popular, what I'm doing is I am just squeezing my piping bag and then dropping down that line. Notice how my piping bag is not super, super close. I lift it up and then I drop that line when I wanna stick it back down to stop piping, then I stop squeezing and I just kind of dab my piping bag into the spot where I want to stop. And then I go ahead and fill it in. What's great about my icing consistency as well is I don't have to do too much finessing of anything. Really with my cookie scribe there, all I'm doing is filling in the small, small little gaps, but for the most part, because this icing consistency is just right, it's flooding all on its own. So when you are creating the icing, it's really important that you watch that icing kind of fall into place on its own. I also have a trick to getting that icing nice and dry super, super quickly. So go ahead and click that right hand corner if you want to know what my secret is. For the longest time, I always wondered how people got puffy icing with definition. It just never made sense to me because whenever I filled things in, even with puffy icing, all my definition would kind of run together. And the trick is to really make sure that you are icing in sections. So right here, you'll notice that I'm doing every second little line here, and then I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to fill in the rest of the lines later. Now, because I do wanna keep this kind of Little Mermaid theme, I'm doing a bit of a nod to all of the colors that are in the movie, but I'm not being overt by actually making Ariel's face. Recreating characters can be very intimidating and are really difficult if you haven't done this a lot, especially if you don't nail your icing consistency. So this is a great way to kind of create that atmosphere and feeling without having to actually make the character. Now that those other sections have dried, I am filling in the other section and making sure to keep that icing nice and puffy. Now again, if I didn't have the correct icing consistency, everything would be flooding everywhere. One thing I really learned when I was first cookieing was don't keep going if it's wrong. <laughs> Stop and add icing sugar or add water if it's too lumpy and just restart. You'll have a much better time. For all of my colors today, I'm not being too picky at all. All I'm making sure is that I'm keeping things fairly pale because I'm going to be airbrushing the details later. To get this sand dollary color, all I did was do one little tiny drop of yellow and one little tiny drop of brown. This sand dollar is actually a great starter cookie if you're just learning how to make sugar cookies because it's such an imperfect kind of circle and all of those little kind of divots and things are made to look imperfect. So it will turn out even if you're not super, super great with piping. Now you don't always need to buy the fanciest stencils to do this airbrushing technique. All I'm doing is I'm taking a cookie cutter and I noticed that this scalloped edge really matched the seashells. So I am just going ahead and airbrushing that top there. And surprisingly that airbrush doesn't sneak under that cookie cutter. So it looks really great. Have no fear if you don't have an airbrush, you can always do this by hand painting. It obviously will take a little bit longer and you might see a little bit of brush strokes here and there, but it really just depends on what type of look that you would like. I've said this time and time again, if you're not interested in doing a lot of airbrushing in the future, then I really wouldn't invest in an airbrush because it is a finicky piece of machinery if you don't use it often. 
And if you do own an airbrush, but maybe you've been a little bit intimidated to use it, my trick here is to always kind of press the trigger really, really lightly at first, because once you airbrush too much, it's really hard to go back. So I'm just going in really lightly. I also always like to make sure that I have white airbrushing on hand. You'll notice here that I'm adding a little bit of white on the ends of my shells and see how that brings that tone back just a little bit. Moving on to my sand dollars, I'm just using a light gold color and really directing it to the outer edges and kind of the inside of those little holes there. I used to have a lot of clogs with my airbrush machine. Now I am doing much better because I'm using it a lot more frequently and I always make sure to clean out after every color. So all I do is I put a little bit of water through the airbrush and I make sure to run it before I put it away. Time to make the dingle hoppers. Now I will say this does take a little bit of finesse. We are using the exact same puffy icing consistency and this is where things can get a little bit tricky. If you do not have super great piping skills, then what I would suggest is go nice and thin. That way you can spread things out with your cookie scribe if things are looking a little bit awry. If you don't feel like painting afterward, make sure that you use a grayish color instead of this leftover sand dollar color I'm using. Add on whatever little pearls and designs you would like to at the very bottom of your shell, or you could just leave your shell as is. But as we know, I love a glam moment, so I'm adding on all of these little edible sugar pearls. Now that everything is fully dry, I'm just using a little bit of my favorite gold luster dust mixed with some vodka, and then I'm painting those little dots there. You could have easily used some gold sugar pearls as well. I'm just choosing to do it this way for fun. I'm going in with some water activated edible silver paint, and I am painting all of these dingle hoppers. This is the only time where I did have to change my icing consistency to make sure that these dots didn't all run together. So all I did was add in a couple tablespoons of icing sugar into the leftover blue icing. I'm in love with how beautiful these are and these look so awesome on a party table. And especially once they're all super dry, you don't have to have a fear of stacking them and making it look really nice and full on your table. Or this looks really great too if you scatter them all along the edge of your table as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. 